Hey everybody, Mark G here. Uh, I'm going to give you today a Green Beret Gringos overview of flamenco guitar techniques. Um, the agenda is pretty straightforward. We're going to jump straight in. I'm going to talk uh, fingernails, body position, a little bit of flamenco philosophy there, strumming, rasqueado, picado, tremolo, and alzapua in kind of probably that order. You're wondering how the heck did a former Green Beret uh, become a flamenco player? First, I'm not like some grandmaster of flamenco. I just love playing it. Um, but I got into it because my wife is Dominican and has family that is, you know, kind of spread across Puerto Rico and traces back into Spain. So, you know, I'm a metal player typically, but um, kind of along the years of getting bored with that, I I wanted to learn flamenco. So anyway, that's why I play it. Uh, and I just play it because it's cool. Um, all right, first thing is flamenco is played with the fingernails. Like if, if someone's playing with a pick and they say they're playing flamenco, they don't know what they're talking about. You got to play with your fingernails. So real quick, you can see how mine are. That's about how long they are. They don't have to be like super long. Uh, my thumbnail is kind of long but not ridiculous. Uh, if they're too long, they get hung up on the string. So you got to have fingernails. Um, generally, a flamenco player is going to hold the guitar like this and have the um, kind of just sitting on their thigh. Some people will play it down like this and have, you know, more of a flat feel. But usually you don't have the, the classical style where you're, you got it on one leg and your legs up in the air like don't worry about any of that stuff just grab the guitar and if it feels comfortable roll with it which is kind of the flamenco punk rock mentality of you're ta you're basically taking a, a classical guitar and shredding on it um so anyway that leads me into flamenco playing so in flamenco there aren't like these written songs you know that people regurgitate perfectly note by note and try to make every note like perfectly clear uh, that's not the point of flamenco I, I find flamenco to be similar to like metal shredding uh in terms of its openness and creativity and all that stuff so anyway that was probably a little too much of an intro but let's talk strumming so in flamenco Generally, your left hand's not doing anything spectacularly different than any other style, but your right hand is all over the place. So we'll start with some basic strumming. I'll just hold an E minor here, and, or an A minor, and show you. The first is just strumming with your index finger up and down. Like that. It's pretty simple. Usually in flamenco, too, you plant your thumb on the top string and just... That becomes like your stability like that um, so and then if you want to hit a chord like really hard you will generally use these two fingers and like that like that and you get like a real strong powerful thrust with it um, then you can also obviously strum with your thumb. And in flamenco, you do kind of these really sharp, uh, it's not even a strum, it's like a strike. Right, and I just introduced another thing called golpe. And in, go in Spanish, golpe means like tap. Um, like, And you do that with your... I'm going fast through this, it's an overview. Like you use generally your ring finger and you're tapping on the body. So let's bring it back to the single, single finger strum and tap. And you got a tap like that. And when you do the, the, the thumb with the tap, you get kind of a nice powerful push on it so anyway you got you can strum like that now already i've kind of started doing like the flick of the fingers thing um 
which in flamenco that's called rasqueado um and you know pronounced differently in different kind of dialects but generally that's rasqueado is what you would usually associate with like real spanish sounding uh guitar playing so the way you do rasqueado there's two general ways um although there's all kinds of different variants that personalize um it's when you do this stuff it's got that that kind of room sound and the way you do it is um you kind of make a fist and flick your fingers one at a time some people do pinky first some only use these three fingers um you know it's hard to get a good flick out of your pinky and what you want it with rascato is a very you want an attack on the initial you don't want it to start like muddy you want it to be like a distinct tongue uh strike with each finger um you know unless and then you start mm. kind of rolling it so the way it works is you i'll go slow and do a quick one like that so three down and one up if you're doing pinky it's four down one up and you could keep it kind of rolling and you can even like follow it up with a thumb kind of sweet you can do whatever you want that's the beauty of it um so anyway that's a general one um some guys too i think start with their index and then so you get a really strong strike on the initial you could you could play with it however you want obviously there are no rules um the other one is called a it, it was introduced to me called a triplet i um, mean it's where you totally different your hand kind of runs free here and you do three strikes um, two with your thumb and one with your middle finger or sometimes with the two so it goes like this like that and you can get pretty fast with it and you keep it real tight you can get crazy with that one um, some people do it with different fingers uh, this guy named Paco Pena who is an amazing uh, flamenco legend has a totally different way too where he does his pinky in there and it's like a four noter uh, you can google for that guy um, he's amazing um, okay so that pretty much covers uh, the basic uh, one more strumming technique is called rumba uh, and it's again it's a totally different one but you hear this one in more of the mainstream modern flamenco which i'm not crazy about personally but uh, it goes like this you know it's got the, the slap and all that is is thumb that index and you can also like offset the first note like you can do whatever you want it's friggin crazy all right um next one i'll go into is probably the one i'm the worst at of all techniques in flamenco which is uh called picado which for the shredding metal guy like me, that's is your shred mode of how do you, it's basically alternate picking uh, with your fingernails. Uh, and the way you do it generally is you have these two fingers, your index and middle, alternate picking on the string. And it's kind of like a weird downstroke called a rest stroke. I think it's called a rest stroke. Um, and you're, it's like you push down and pop the string. And similar to alternate picking in metal, when you when you transition to new strings, you don't start over with like a downstroke. You just keep no the downstroke, but with one finger, you always just keep alternating. So I'll do it real slow here on a Phrygian um, scale, and 
you can watch my fingers move. You know, you can do some Googling about uh, with guys like Paco Pena, Paco de Lucia, Paco Cepero, uh, and a bunch of other. Just check out the flamenco greats. The speed. These guys were blowing Ingve away in like 1960 on a nylon string guitar. So you can get really fast with it. You can do bursts with it. So that sucked, but I'm just, I'm not warmed up and I'm giving you an overview. So that's how you do scales. See how it has a nice kind of pop to it? Um, you're actually pushing down and back on each note. So that's a little better. I made up for it a little bit. Um, all right, so that's that's Russ, that's Picado. Um, now let's talk a little bit about like the way you pluck scales or uh, pluck chords, uh, which are more like arpeggios. I'm not used to playing on, on a video here, but the way you do like chords and pluck them is the same as kind of any other finger picking. Uh, maybe in flamenco, your hands up a little higher, kind of the way it is. But you know, you're just doing the the normal. you do those is, is simple it's just like any other finger picking really but now there's a, another awesome lamenting kind of thing that you hear in both classical and flamenco but flamenco does it differently it's called tremolo tremolo is this when you hear this That's tremolo, you know, or something like. Man, I suck on this today. Um, so that's that is a uh, tremolo. Uh, in in classical, you'll hear that too. But in classical, um, you play a bass note and three notes in between. But in flamenco, you play four notes in between, like this. So you do index, ring, middle, index, index, ring, middle, index. That's the flamenco way. Uh, it gives it a little more space in there and it, like fills up that room between the bass notes just a little differently. It gives it that flamenco... Um, what they call the duende, which is, I guess, like a lamenting type of motion. At least that's what my wife translates it for me. So anyway, that's uh, it's one of my favorite things to play. Um, all right, next one that is very flamenco and uh, really unique. Uh, I don't it's a bizarre way of playing with your thumb nail. I don't, I don't know how else to translate, but it's the way you do it with your, it's all thumb work up and down strokes with your thumb, similar to some bass type techniques, but you know, different. So the way it works, I'm going to play like a, uh, just a real basic thing here. So you usually you go down on a string, like that. Something like that. It blends nicely into the different styles, but it goes down, then you kind of rest there. 
then go down again, and then up, like that. And it's one of those things where it's, the speed you can achieve with that is actually amazing. Uh, I'm not saying I'd achieve it, but flamenco greats do that so incredibly fast. And it's got such a unique, like, tonal quality to it when they do it that it's just, it's awesome. So I did a little riff there. And you can do it really fast. Anyway. So that pretty much covers the basics of flamenco. And I have to say, I didn't play it very well right now. Um, but don't rely on me go forth and do research and and just love playing it grab yourself a nylon string and start shredding all right thanks everybody later <laughs>